religious leaders, scientists, and even a hand have predicted the end of the world almost as long as the world has been around. They have been predicting the destruction of the world for floods, fire, and comets. And luckily for us, none of this has come to pass. They should have believed in Jesus' prediction in the, in today's passage, saying that no one will know the exact time except the Father. Jesus warned us as believers to be ready and keep watch. Three things I've learned from today's passage. The first thing is, nobody knows the time. The second coming will be obvious to everyone in the world, including apparent signs of natural sufferings and suffering in the world. And a sign of the Son will appear, the Son of Man will appear, as Jesus sent angels gathered his chosen ones together, the rest of the world will mount. And just as the budding leaves in a fig tree indicates the imminent arrival of summer, these events will indicate the second coming of Christ. The second thing I've learned is we need to keep watch. As the time of Jesus' coming cannot be known or predicted by anyone, we must be vigilant, on guard, fully aware, aware of alert, and fully focused on God. The signs will be obvious to those who believe in the Word of God and understand the Word of God. The coming of Jesus is, will be like a thief. At the same time, the world is still don't understand and live without fear of God and are unaware of His return. That's why as followers, we must live in a constant state of readiness and we must keep watch. The third thing I've learned is, Jesus asks, who is the faithful servant? Jesus delivered a parable to show the Christians how we should live our life in preparation for Jesus' coming. The, it's, the parable is about a master who goes on a trip and leaves his servants with in charge of the household. The servant found faithful doing what the masters instructed will be rewarded. But those who do not ignore the master and just do whatever they want, they will have a miserable fate. This is also true for us today. So we must be like the faithful servant. My application today is, we're reminded today that the plights of the world, the corona arrivals, that Jesus is coming soon. It's no guesswork. Jesus' is return is imminent. But we should not be in, um, in flight or ignorance of Jesus' coming. We need to live in hope. The Bible tells us in 1 John that if we have this hope, it will purify our souls. Therefore, we must live in God's righteousness, trusting in His Word and obeying in His Word each day so that we can become the pure bride of Christ and we cannot be polluted by the world. My prayer today is, Father, we thank you for your imminent return. Help us to be purified and be um, the rightful bride for your uh, for Jesus' return. Help us to live a life to bring glory to you and help people to know that Jesus is coming soon. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.